pointless, random, absurd, superfluous, and slapdash facts. Welcome to everyone's favorite show, where we construct a virtual cornucopia filled with arbitrary information for no apparent reason. For instance, did you know grasses make up about 26% of the plant life on Earth, with nearly 1,400 species of grasses that can be found in the United States? True, true, true. Speaking of random, an adult, female, giant Pacific octopus will have about 280 suction cups in each of her eight arms. Males have fewer of these suckers because the tip of their third right arm functions as their reproductive organ. Fascinating. To be sure streams of oxygen and nutrient-rich water waft over the eggs they lay in deep water dens, giant Pacific octopus mothers live with their eggs for up to seven months without eating, usually causing the mothers to die after their broods hatch. It was William Shakespeare who wrote, He that commends me to mine own content, commends me to the thing I cannot get. I to the world am like a drop of water, that in the ocean seeks another drop, who, falling there to find his fellow forth, unseen, inquisitive, confounds himself. So I, to find a mother and a brother, in quest of them, unhappy, lose myself. That's really beautiful. That's actually from Shakespeare's shortest play, The Comedy of Errors. While Shakespeare's shortest play, the word, mad, appears more than 30 times, more than plays such as King Lear and Hamlet. Almost every character in The Comedy of Errors uses the word, mad, at least once. You know what I'm mad about. What's that? Burberry. I feel that. According to the Burberry website, in 1879, Thomas Burberry invented the breathable, weatherproof, hard-wearing fabric called gabardine. Patented in 1888, gabardine revolutionized rainwear, which up to then was cumbersome and uncomfortable. Before it evolved into a luxury brand, Burberry was primarily an outdoor outfitter. Numerous adventurers, from Arctic explorers to aviators, also wore Burberry on their expeditions. It was not until the 1920s that Burberry saw its next great brand breakthrough with the creation of its iconic Burberry check, a tartan design with a beige base, accented by black, red, and white. Now registered as a trademark, originally, the check was only sewn into the company's coats. In fact, it would take more than 40 years from the check's origins for the design to become a fashion statement of its own. So for like 40 years or something, until the 1960s, Burberry's Nova check pattern was only seen as a jacket's lining. That's like totally crazy. True, true, true. In 1908, in a balloon named the Mammoth, Air Commodore Edward Maitland was sporting Burberry gabardine in flight when he set the world's long-distance overseas record and the British long-distance in-flight record in a hot air balloon, covering a distance of 1,117 miles from Crystal Palace in London to what at the time was Miki Derivi, Russia, now Zarasai in Lithuania, in 31 and a half hours. You know it's true. It was prior to that. In 1893, Norwegian polar explorer, zoologist and recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize, Dr. Fritjof Nansen is the first recorded polar explorer to take Burberry's gabardine to the poles when he set sail bound for the Arctic Circle. The Milli Vanilli hit, Girl You Know It's True, spent 26 weeks in the Billboard Hot 100 chart, peaking at the number 2 spot April 1, 1989. During a Milli Vanilli concert at the Lake Compound's theme park in Bristol, Connecticut, the song skipped and kept repeating the partial line, Girl, you know it's, revealing a case of lip-syncing during the performance and setting off a wave of controversy for the group. Did you know that the song is also a cover version of a song that came out the year before? What? It was recorded first in 1987 by the band, New Marks. No way. 